Thank you, Adele. All right, we've got uh, uh, one more gentleman that we would like to introduce, and then we're going to have him just stand here for, for one second. So without uh, any further delay, this young man missed most of the season last year, and he was sorely missed. He was the 2010 Rookie of the Year, Buster Posey. Buster. <laughs> For Buster is welcome him back after this injury and we're going to do this in a very special way Buster this is for you we've practiced this it's going to be good okay so all I need for you to do is to take just a practice swing so act like you've got a bat and then take a practice swing okay go ahead are right, you guys ready Seriously. Okay, ready? Go. He hits it. He hits it. And he hits it. Do it again. You ready? Uh, no, that was good. That was good. Later. You got, by the way, A plus. Nice call. Right, that was good. That was good. You did good. That was good. Well, welcome. This is the 2012 version of the San Francisco Giants you're looking at. Woo! And we thank you all for coming. There are high expectations with this group. They set the bar a couple years ago. And uh, it was a, a glorious run, and I'm sure we'd all like to see it happen again. So right now, let's meet these guys. That's right, and uh, so I, I'm gonna start up. <laughs> it says here, to ask Jeremy Affield how his hand is doing. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask that. How's your brain doing? <laughs> uh, good, I worked on it this afternoon. Did you? Yeah. yeah. All right, how's the hand? Oh, hands great. Uh, good doctors. Um, uh, a good son, son to keep me humble. He explains to me every day how he's going to be smarter than me when he gets older and use uh, the table to cut the hamburger meat yeah. out of my hand. <laughs> yeah, you had yeah. Look, I mean, he's a family guy, right? You're, you're trying to separate hamburgers, right? To cook for the family. Yeah, I thought good I was job. serving my family, yeah. to be honest with you. Uh, Are you glad to be back because this is a great bunch of guys or because this team can win? Uh, both. I mean, you know, Wilson's laughing at me because I stab myself still in the front row right now. So you know, I'm glad I bring comedy relief to him. Uh, uh, but no, I'm, I'm happy to be back because, for one, everybody's healthy. Uh, I think everybody's excited to kind of repeat what we did in 2010. I think we have a similar team to what we had then. Uh, and I just, I think we have a good group of guys, good characters, obviously good personalities. We have a lot of fun. I mean, I don't know what you can't not like about this team. Did you want Lopez back or not? <laughs> well, you know, I called him and yeah, I rumor was he was going to take a deal and I said, what are you doing? <laughs> and he said, what? I'm like, well, I got two kids, I got a family to feed. Yeah. Uh, appearances? Uh, I haven't been picked up yet, I need appearances, you're killing that old dude. You're not taking that deal, right? You, your free agency hasn't started yet. Yeah, I'm taking it. So I hung up on him. <laughs> just about what you expected, right? Well, I mean, it was no phone calls, it was just text messages. So, you know, uh, thank God I know him well enough that the humor was in there, so to speak. <laughs> and you could hear the slam on the text messaging. <laughs> Perfect. Eric Surkamp, you were a rook last year. You broke into the big leagues. Was it anything like you thought it would be? Uh, yeah, it was everything that I could have imagined it to be. Um, you know, you always dream of it as a kid, getting called up. And uh, actually, the night I found out, um, I was in Akron, Ohio. Five minutes after I got off the phone with uh, Bobby Evans from him telling me, 
the fire alarm goes off in our hotel. Um, so it was just a crazy night, you know. Um, flying out here the next day, getting there, pitching the first game was a blur, but you know, it, uh, it was a great experience. Well, you walk into a, a clubhouse of, of defending world champions, and uh, a lot of these guys you, you knew more on TV before you actually got to see them naked, and now all of a sudden you're naked. <laughs> you come into a big league camp. Was there one guy in this club you went to yourself and said, I want to be like that guy? Was there one guy? Tell you my numbers. Too. Career 270 hitter, uh, average I'm a 500 on base percentage. I got two game-winning RBIs. Um, I'm batting a thousand with runners in scoring position. Is that a fact? Yeah. Seriously. Check the books. <laughs> We also did check that there is a fact running around the Bay Area that upon one at bat last year, you took a swing that was so ugly against a left-handed pitcher <laughs> that there was 800 little leaguers that quit baseball and took up some. I, I did scream like a girl, but that's bad because Bochy set me up. He made me, well, it's not bad, it's just a high-pitched scream. <laughs> So I don't know how else to describe it. Like, a, I, but Bochi threw me against a lefty on lefty, and it was a side armor. I was scared. I mean, it happens. <laughs> but I thought he did it on purpose. Oh, yeah, way better than Runzlers, though. Well, yeah. Zerkan said that. Way better than Runzlers. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> Runzler got hurt. Giants won the World Series, right? Good point. Yeah. Clay Hensley, newest Giant, originally drafted by the Giants. You look good in that uniform. This one, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you heard about this Giants clubhouse. What did you hear about it before you got over to it? Well, obviously, you know, playing against these guys for as long as we have, uh, there's a lot of personalities on this on this team. And, uh, you know, I'm just looking forward to being a part of it. These guys seem like they cut up, have a lot of fun, and win some ball games, so it's going to be exciting. Yeah. It is exciting. And sometimes the plane rides are as exciting as what you see on the field. <laughs> I can only imagine. Eli Whiteside, you had a chance to uh, to play behind Buster Posey. You played a lot last year with Chris Stewart. What is the one thing that you learned last year when all of a sudden you're starting to play all the time? Was there something that you went, oh my goodness, this is different? Well, you always have respect for the guy that, that you're playing behind, but I think you even have that much more respect for the guy when you, when you sit out there going out there every day. Um, um, day in and day out behind the plate. And uh, y'all like Buster, what he did the year before and uh, playing every day was, uh, was something special. And uh, you got a lot of respect for, for a guy like that. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, we're glad you're back. Yeah, we are. Yeah, wait a minute. There is a reason why Mike says that, right? There's a reason why Mike always says that about The big you. reason why. Yeah, look at your hair. The only guy on the team got more gray hair than us. That's good. I'm trying to catch up with it. You know, one of the great things about being in the big leagues is you really develop relationships with your teammates. And one of the things you do is you pick each other up when somebody goes down to injury. And it happened last year. Brian Wilson went down. And uh, the Giants need somebody to step up and assume that responsibility. And, uh, and there was a couple of guys that were doing it. And one guy, Santiago Casilla. You went from a setup guy to a closer. What was the difference between setting up and closing games? How different was it? Uh, <laughs> this is a little different, but I don't know. I like the most of the game. So I think when the game is very close, so I feel I like the the night in you, whatever. But we have Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> now. When you started to close games, did you ever think that you might want to grow a beard? 
Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's you heard from his beard coach down here. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good answer, yeah. So anyway, one more with uh, Avi Lopez. You know, Avi, you could have gone someplace else. And, uh, and I remember the look on your face when you got traded to the Giants in 2010, and there were guys in the clubhouse in Atlanta, and they were hooting and hollering and having fun and arguing, and, and I looked at you and I said, is this okay with you? I mean, are you glad to be here? And you were sight. So I'm assuming that that had a lot to do with you coming back. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt, obviously, the personalities that we have sitting in front of you, everybody up here on the stage. Uh, these guys are great. I mean, I've never been in a clubhouse that's been so loose and so, uh, so fun to be in, and uh, that was definitely one of the reasons I wanted to be back. And we're glad you're back. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our first group, and say goodbye to this group right here.